Hi folks, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this 3D model and as you can see that on the left hand side is the sweep definite in the opposite direction as the right hand side. This is the direct question from you so I'd like to create this model and we will start with simple revolve feature of the base shape and then we will use the sweep, helical sweep and at the end some holes and chamfers. Let's see. So we will start from scratch. So new model will be sweep. If you will select Control N, the system will start and allow to you to create new model. And as I mentioned, I will create new revolve feature. And for the revolve feature, we need the sketch plane. In the revolve, we have to define the base shape. So as you can see, I will define the half of the model and we will specify center line. So create the center line as the datum over here directly. And in previous tutorial, we have seen that if you would like to change dimension, now my dimension is 200. So I can quickly select everything and I am able to use the change the scale of the sketch. So I can use the modify and any dimension. What you will see here, you are able to change if I will select the lock scale and for example I will select double click for this dimension and for example we will specify that size will be only 50 and I will confirm OK. System will automatically zoom the sketch and if you will use this refit the system will zoom it as you need. I have a configuration option that do not refit my sketch automatically but it's up to you you can change it as you need. And now it's simple, you can change your dimension here. And for example, I will specify like this. Okay, base shape is ready. We will come from OK. And revolve feature is done. So we can come from OK again. Now we will start to use the feature sweep, helical sweep. Yes, yeah, so if you will use the drop down menu over there is a helical sweep. And select the sketch plane again. But you have to specify that you would like to use the helix profile so select and define and now you are able to select sketch plane for the profile if i will hit the sketch the system will jump again to the sketch and over here you need to specify the helical profile so what does it mean you are able to create a line and be careful where you start the system will create automatically the starting point so as you can see here the starting point will be over here but my line has to la be aligned over here. So I am able to select coincident and the system will automatically snap the existing line to existing geometry. I'm starting from outside of the model because the helical sweep, I don't want to start somewhere in the middle of the extrude feature or revolve feature. So I'm starting out of the shape of the 3D model, but also I'd like to go out so I'm selecting arc and I will create simple arc. Yeah. The height of this arc is for example, three and radius is fine. Yeah. You can change it later. And also you can specify all necessary dimension. For example, the length of your thread. So for example, 40. Yeah. And this one is okay. Doesn't matter, but it's up to you if you would like to change the dimensions here, but that you would like to have everything nice, we can say, yeah. So over here I would change also the six and the dimensions will be really nice and rounded. Okay, let's continue. So the helical profile is defined. If I will come from button OK, the system asks me that I need to select axis of the revolution. You can see it on the bottom here. And what does it mean? If you do not create axis in the sketch system, request to you create axis outside of the sketch. So it's OK because we have a axis directly from the previous revolve feature. So I am able to select it. If not, go back to the helix profile and create the axis of revolution over there directly. Everything is defined, but if we miss the sketch of the profile, how it looks like. So over here is the button, select the sketch system will automatically jump to the starting point where the arrow start in the previous sketch and over here we need to create the shape over here on the, this example it's a triangle shape and dimension is 30 degree it's really easy so you can create a simple line yeah 
and specify dimension 30 degree because yeah you would like to use it so 30 degree perfect and also the opposite direction best and easy is to create a center line and then you can simple mirror on opposite direction yeah then you can continue with the dimension so it's up to you which dimension you will create if you would like to create these dimensions or you will specify the diameters or what you want so you can create reference dimensions and you will see that if i will change one of these dimensions for example 1.5 the system will automatically change this reference dimension automatically calculate if possible close the shape so i will close the shape and now the shape of the triangle is closed so what does it mean? You can continue, the shape is closed, it comes from OK, and now the system automatically adds dimension, uh, add geometry. So, but you would like to remove material, yeah? so I will select remove material. And what you need to specify is the pitch. So if you will specify, for example, pitch two, yeah, that we will see exactly the shape as is needed here. And also, you can specify if you would like to have on this bottom side right handler rule or you can see, yeah, or left, right and left. So you can choose what you want, what you prefer. And also you can change the profile here. So for example, here we will specify the left handler rule and will be same as the on the source files yeah it's up to you but it's a symmetrical file so in this reality it doesn't care doesn't matter okay so let's continue specify what you want come from okay and now i'd like to show you how to do it quickly and you will mirror yes yeah? so you can see here that almost everything is done and specified so you can select the main name of the model and use the mirror function system asks you select the mirror plane i use the many times the surface but also it's possible to select the datum plane so select and confirm now you will see that everything if i will switch off and maybe Control d will be fine we can see that really we have on the left side the opposite orientation as the right side if you would like to change it yeah because you can say check here which dimensions or which angle is there so it's also possible because we are using the parametric modeling so if if you will change at the definition and you will jump from left to right yeah it will be opposite come from okay and again opposite direction is mirrored it's a fully dependent mirror so you will see that everything was changed as needed what i don't like over here on this example that the over here is starting line as the straight line and as i mentioned we would like to create some chamfer so what i need to do i will create chamfer feature before helical sweep and if you will select and create chamfer here on the edge or between two surfaces up to you yeah if you will select two surfaces it's the same if you will select one edge and system will allow to you to specify dimension as value so for example two is okay and if I will move on the bottom, the system will really nicely start our helical sweep. You see here that it is working really nice. And also on the opposite direction is same. Yeah, so also on the picture, if you will have a look over there is some starting chamfer at the beginning. And last but not least are the how to create the latest holes so if i will switch on again my tatum planes and control d for default orientation we miss in the middle two axis so because on the axis i like to place the holes so simply you can select the datum plane and then you can create the axis between these selected planes yeah if you will see here perfect and then you can use if you will create a pattern feature you can pattern or also you can create the axis again so simple i will select opposite that i will select first axis and then the plane so it's up to you 
if you will select datum plane first and then icon or icon and then the, the functionality or the selection references. Okay, perfect. So axes are here. We are able to create hole directly place it on the axis. And with the control button, I will select where I would like to start. So my hole will start on this surface. Specify dimensions and specify depth. Yeah, through all, everything is fine. Specify dimension, for example, with number, for example, 14. Come from OK. And simple, you can copy and paste. So over here is functionality copy, control C. And if you will hit this button, it's a control V as the paste. Or also you can use the keyboard shortcut. System asks you again about the placement. So axis, control, surface, everything is defined, come from OK. And last but not least is the changing the color. So you are able to select from the menu and specify, for example, your own preferences and colors and select and confirm with middle button. As you can see here, our model is ready and also looks as needed. What we can do and specify it's a section. So if I will try to check the shape of the C, yeah. So over there you have seen that on the sketch I see that over there is the profile C and the section. And if you would like to see the section directly here, you can check if it looks same. So perfect. We have the same section and in the properties tab, you can mention that is the C and enter and come from OK and C section is defined and also visible. Now your model is ready to create a drawing, create a views and show dimensions when everything is done. If you would like to know how to create views, dimensions and everything, please check the previous tutorials how to create and work with the drawings. I hope so that you like this example and over there you have seen how it's possible to show and hide the necessary information. Yeah, so over there is the latest, latest modification of the preparation of hatching and so on. So, but much more you will see again on my YouTube channel. And thanks again for your questions how to model this 3D model. Thank you and bye bye. Vladimir.